When you hear that aluminum is used in vaccines, you might think of this in a syringe. We want no aluminum in the vaccine. We've already taken out and are in the process of taking out mercury and aluminum now. You know what mercury is, you know what aluminum is. Who the hell wants that pumped into a body? But vaccines have included tiny amounts of aluminum since the 1920s. And it's not the same as aluminum foil being included in a vaccine vial. Why is it included? Small amounts of aluminum are used to boost the body's immune response to a vaccine to ensure protection from infection. This boost means you can receive fewer vaccine doses in smaller quantities. Vaccines with aluminum usually contain less than a milligram per dose. A single stick of gum weighs about one gram. That means if you cut this into 1,000 equal pieces, one of those pieces would weigh about one milligram. People consume aluminum all the time. It's one of the most abundant metals in the Earth's crust, and it naturally occurs in soil, air, and water. Food is the main way people consume aluminum. The average adult eats about seven to nine milligrams of aluminum each day, according to the CDC. So we know it's safe to include small amounts of aluminum in vaccines for a few reasons. It's practically everywhere, including in your food, and the amount of aluminum you get from a shot doesn't even compare. Every vaccine's safety and efficacy is tested in animal studies and human clinical trials before the FDA licenses it for public use. That includes all vaccines using aluminum. A growing body of research has found aluminum Aluminum in vaccines doesn't cause aluminum toxicity or other adverse outcomes. Over several decades of use, vaccines containing aluminum have been proven safe. It would be difficult to remove aluminum from vaccines, as Trump and others in his administration have suggested. If it could be done at all, it would take years to develop, test, and license new aluminum-free vaccines. Removing an ingredient means a vaccine would need fresh clinical trials and safety tests and some vaccines might not work without aluminum. Vaccine experts said an immediate ban on aluminum in vaccines would drastically reduce people's ability to protect themselves and others against numerous diseases. So next time you hear talk of removing aluminum from vaccines, try not to think about this. And remember that decades of safety data support using tiny amounts of aluminum in some vaccines to boost the body's immune response. Have any health questions you'd like us to look into? Let us know in the comments.